These are my favorite type of reading passage. There's basically nothing to do except look at the strong words in the passage, which luckily is a sentence or two. So the narrator presents a young woman as being unimpressed with the house she is visiting. That one word, unimpressed, is the only thing I am thinking about as I read these choices. I've never read this book. I don't need to know the background. I don't need to know the characters. I don't need to know anything other than, does it sound like someone is unimpressed? If so, probably the answer. A, her first feeling was of disappointment. In the square lines of the house, there was little claim to beauty. Yeah, well, disappointment, little claim to beauty, sounds like she's not happy with the house. It sounds bad, right? So even just in a dumb summary kind of connotation way, yeah, negative. B, someone had opened one of the blinds, so here was more light. Here there was more light. Was that good? I don't know. It just seems like a random statement. So I don't think it has anything to do with being unimpressed. There's light or not. I don't I don't know what she feels about that. C, the door built squarely in the middle of the house opened almost directly upon a stone flagged path that led in a straight line to the road. Again, that's a, that's a nice description of the house, but is that something that's good or bad? Is she impressed by that? Unimpressed by it? It just is a statement of, of fact here. It's not any sort of connotation. D, she tiptoed through the hall and opened the door on the right. Again, what is she thinking? I have no idea. Tiptoeing, that's maybe a little bit descriptive, but does that mean she's unimpressed? Do you tiptoe when you're unimpressed by something? Uh, not in any kind of way that I think of. So yeah, A is very clearly the right match. These illustrate the claim questions end up being more about vocabulary than anything else. We don't really need to understand what we're reading. We just need to make matches between the word or words, the strong words in the passage, and then similar strong words in the choices. Don't try to understand it on some deeper level. Just whatever the most clear match is, that's probably the right answer.